and the Lombard that started to come back. He sort of was a fantastic amateur and he started off really well and then had a quiet spell, but he's played better this season. Did win our order of merit on the. <laughs> Lovely shot. Xander Lombard for his birdie, having dropped a stroke at the first. This would be a. Little settler and Alka Seltzer. Right in, right before. Beautiful drive, 169. He's got into this flag. Yeah, Xander Lombard's not short of support, is he? That was lovely. Great shot. Lombard to the par 370. Lovely swing there, lovely rhythm. Oh, it's a beauty. Toughest pin of the day here. And seven, that was beauty. Yeah, and a wonderfully steady head throughout it all. As Lombard touched. Yeah, for a birdie three. Was it? Some birdie to make, and I think he's done it. Fantastic. After a bit of a nervy birdie, bogey start. On the right hand side, and it's sitting down a little bit in the rough, but he's only got 197, so he can reach. Pins on the front, not a bad thing to leave it just short. Oh, what a shot! Well, so Lombard second into 10, beautiful, just a medium iron, really. It's for Eagle. It's for Eagle. He's got it. Wow, Lombard. There's the eight under. Fantastic. Making a rally. Beautiful tee shot. Certainly was. Sam right in the middle of the fairway. He's got 132 plus up the pin, 136. But the pin's right on the very front edge and only four from the right. So you want to keep it a bit left of the pin, which is just what his playing partner Ernie else has done. Spin now. Spin. That's a good shot. Trying to spin down the hill. Anything past the hole today, you leave yourself a very quick putt. It's four under for the day, so this would get him to tie the lead. Three-way tie. That is some card. It has been some day for the smiling South Africans. Uphill, long, very long par three. And the pin is in such a difficult spot, right in the back left corner. It's just a tiny, tiny, tiny target. 20 feet short. It's probably as good as you'd hope for. I can't believe it. He went right for the flag. Brilliant shot. Thought Matt Fitzpatrick had the same putt. Thought it would come a lot from the left. It didn't. And here is Lombard. He shot at 13. Like most holes out here, imperative to hit the fairway. That's perfect. Great birdie chance now. Drive down the middle of the fairway. The pin is actually in quite an accessible position. You want to pitch it about six, eight feet past the hole, but he's pulled it and he's hit it too far. But fortunately, it's spinning all the way down the hill and it's actually going to finish in a pretty good position. That was fortunate. It's not stopped yet. This is quite a slow putt. He's got to hit it fairly firmly to get it up to the hole. Now this cup is cut on a very steep bit of... This is a very dangerous driving hole. When you stand on the tee, all you can see is jungle on the right-hand side. There's jungle on the left-hand side. You've got to hit it on the fairway. You can lose a ball here quicker than anything. <coughs> well, Xander Lombard, surprisingly, trying to go for it. I'm not sure that out of the rough that was a good plan. But he's going to get away with it because that's a wonderful shot out the waste bunker. That's a really, really fantastic touch. That's as good as you'll see out of that waste area. That was absolutely exquisite. Let's see some Pretoria power here, Zan. 
Yeah, it's about this point now where he'd just be so enjoying himself playing yeah, his main idol in golf, Ernie Earls. He's playing with so much more freedom in the early holes. The Lombard, because he's down the right-hand side of the fairway, he's got 137, almost no wind whatsoever, and the pin on the left-hand side of the green, so he's got a clear shot into this flag. Don't be surprised if this doesn't finish close. Well classed, and he was just putting enough draw spin to get it to work around the corner with the wind off the left. And that was it. Back to Lombard. This is for Birdie on 15. Straight up the hill. Not sure it'll turn that much. It certainly will. Well done. And he goes back up to 10 under par now, tied at the top with Thomas Dietrich. There you go. No, it's black again. <laughs> That was a quick change. See BMW, they think of everything. You can change the colour of the car to suit your mood every day. Oh, what a shot. Crack a jack. After a tee shot like that, he'll be very disappointed not to make this. With a two shot lead. He's too clear. It's only round two. Young South African in the lead, we keep everyone local happy. Great stuff. Actually, from, from this tee, you can hit it over the lake rather than having it all on the left-hand side of you, but the bunkers on the right come into play. There are three of those, and they're very deep and nasty. But they're not going to worry Xander. Good outlook on Xander's <laughs> shot here. He's got the ball above his feet, which helps him to draw it in. The wind is from right to left. That'll help him. So he's going to start this out towards the right-hand side of the green and but keep it right at the pin, whatever he does, which is what he's done. Smart shot. You talk about blue skies. I'm always reminded of the great Richie Benno introducing the day's cricket, saying it's a beautiful day here at Lord's. Lovely blue sunshine. Birdie, and we think can just get the weight right. Speed looks pretty good. And that's okay, that's a good putt. Excellent putt, actually. He did hold the lead at the halfway sedge in a Rolex Series event earlier in the year in the Irish Open. to avoid that right-hand bunker so maybe I'll keep it a little left of the flag well, set off oh, straight at right it, at it. Oh, what a shot from Lombard oh. and that shot right there may help that young man on Sunday and he owes to a day to remember for Xander Lombard and this would just put the cherry on the icing on top of the cake It's only a slight disappointment. Still been a great day, and he'll remember the shot in rather than the putt. A four to finish for a round of 65. He's outscored Lee Westwood by eight shots. He's outscored Ernie Els by 16 shots, his two playing partners. Much more importantly, he's top of the leaderboard, leading by two at 11 under par. And the usual shot, seven under par, 65, playing alongside Els and Westwood in front of your home crowd in a marquee championship. Where does this rank in your best ever days on a golf course? You know, it's definitely up there. I mean, um, obviously the nerves are out there the first few holes, but, you know, settled in quite quickly. And, you know, with Ernie and Lee being lovely, lovely gents, we just had an awesome time out there. And, you know, from there it was just all positives and really enjoyed it today. Six birdies and an eagle in the round. Just tell us what was going through your mind, what you were thinking, feeling as it was unfolding. Uh, um, Steve, my caddy, did a wonderful job of keeping me in the moment. You know, we were just fighting for a birdie every hole, you know, not looking at the leaderboard or figuring out where we were going to just make ball. We, we tried to make a birdie every hole and just showed on 18 as well, five iron from 215 to about nine foot. And luckily I didn't make the putt, but it was just my mindset. I was being aggressive and I was being, being positive. And yeah, it just worked out, went my way today.
You came into the week 76th in the race to Dubai. You need to improve into that top 50 to make the DP World. Players have told me in the past that when they've got such a definite objective, it can help them focus. No, absolutely. You know, that's, that's the pinnacle of the year you want to play at. So, you know, if I'm not going to try and play for it. I'm going to try and win it. And, you know, all the spoils that come with it. What goes through your mind when you think about the possibilities this weekend and two and a half million dollars first prize? I try not to think about that, <laughs> but... You know, I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. It seems to be working out there. I'm, I'm really, you know, placing the ball well, and I'll see if I can do it for the weekend as well. Great, great plan today. Well done. Thanks. Appreciate it. To watch European Tour video, click here. Subscribe. Click here.